Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I wanted to talk about a film actually. Today I want to talk about a specific movie that was the new Netflix Ted Bundy movie called Extremely Wicked, Shockingly Evil, and Vile. This was stars Zac Efron and Lily Collins. So there was a lot of thoughts on this when the trailer came out about glamorizing serial killers and that whole discussion. I do, like I am very interested in criminology, so I, which a lot of you guys know, so I thought it was only like normal that I kind of talk about some of this stuff on my channel, but the trailer makes it look like a rom-com and not even like a romantic comedy, just like a romantic drama and you know like shirtless Ted Bundy and oh my god we feel so bad for this girlfriend that is realizing that her boyfriend is literally like a serial killer but it looks very romanticized, fluffy, there's upbeat music, there is all that stuff so the trailer was just a no for me absolutely but going into the actual film I decided to watch it just because one I am very interested in criminology. I also have done a lot of research on Ted Bundy, so I do know like a fair bit about him and his crimes. So there was just a lot of issues that I had with the film that I want to talk about today. I wanted to watch this film the day it came out, so when it came out on Netflix, my, myself and my boyfriend sat down to watch this. The movie is incredibly slow in my opinion, like not much happens. They don't show much in terms of the actual crimes. They don't show anything can be done right in its own way but they don't show much they just kind of talk about some of the cases but there's none of his crimes being shown to you which is kind of important and along with that we have Liz who is like the girlfriend so this is from her perspective which I think a lot of people are confused about so it is like her perspective so that's why we see Ted Bunny in this like glorified romanticized way it's because that's how she saw him and that's how most people in the time period did view him because of his looks charm because of how charming he was his looks his appearance and all that kind of stuff so a lot of people think he was innocent and he did say he was innocent for the longest time we know now that he's not innocent um obviously but and like if you know any of the outcomes that happened to ted money you kind of know the general story but for people who don't know too much about true crime or don't know too much about this case and are watching this because zach efron's in it that's kind of different because they like I've heard some people talk about this movie that just haven't don't know that much about Ted Bundy specifically and they get the really wrong impression because they think oh my god like I actually think he's innocent like they finish watching the movie and they're like oh my god he's actually innocent like that poor girl who like had to like go through like her boyfriend being like prosecuted and like dragged through the press and like all this stuff and it's like that he's not innocent <laughs> And the movie tries to show you Liz's point of view and how she wants to have faith, but I'm not going to spoil anything in the movie, but she kind of always had an idea of who he was in a way. And people who are watching this film and just saying, oh my god, I watched this movie with Zac Efron and he's Ted Bundy, but oh my god, he's so attractive and oh my god, he like was totally innocent and like I feel so bad for him like you could feel so much some people felt so much empathy for him during this film and like this all like really confuses me because we should be feeling bad for the victims of what happened and it is like I think part of the a video that describes a lot of this really well is actually a video in defense of this film a little bit um, it's by Sarah Hawkinson. I'll link it down below. I really enjoyed that video. It kind of gave me a bit of a different perspective on the film, but like when I watched it, didn't like it. Still don't like it as a movie, but I think it's important to talk about it, discuss online because it is something that's kind of going around. I think it should, they should have shown part of the crimes in this movie to actually get an understanding of what an actual horrible person he was and not just oh my god he's being accused of this and like he says he's innocent so he must be innocent and it's like no <laughs> he's not innocent and I think it's just important to read more about this story before he watched this film. I think some of the stuff in this film was pretty accurate like some of the court scenes at the end of the movie you can see some of the things that the lawyer said and like when Ted like when um Bundy defended himself 
some of the things he said were actual quotes from the actual like court cases and they show that at the end with like the actual footage of the actual event so I thought that was like one of the good things I gave the movie props for um another thing that I gave this credit movie for was the ending where they acknowledge the victims I am so glad they put that list up that hit me like when I saw that I'm like thank god they included that because that like left me feeling like thank god they're acknowledging the victims of these crimes and I think that's important overall I think this movie you look at the plot and it's about Bundy and his girlfriend and she lets him into his life, lets him around her child and when all this stuff, st stuff starts to like uncover, he's the, he's like being imprisoned, he's escaping, he's being imprisoned again, he's in court, he's all over the place, he's on the run and all of that and we see how Liz, the girlfriend, deals with this and still has faith in him, still always watches the news to like here was on like what's happening with this um he tries to communicate with her all the time and like she has to deal with police always asking her questions and stuff about like the, her relationship with Bundy and like any questions like that or if she's been contacted or anything like that so that's kind of like the plot around this charmingness of Ted Bundy I think was done well because it's true he is charming I don't think it should have been as like not sexualized but again I don't agree with the casting choice I think whatever Zac Efron like, I don't have an opinion on Zac Efron, but just in this particular role, I was like, yeah, they kind of look alike. Like, I joked with my friend one time about how similar they look before this movie was announced, and then he got cast as... And I was like, oh no. Um, I just don't agree with the casting choice specifically, but like, he is portrayed as a charming character, which is how he was seen back then, which I wish it kind of showed a bit of other point of views in there, and like, what he really did. The way this movie was shot, again, I agree with like a lot of the, like there was nothing spectacular about the way it was shot, there was nothing bad about it. Um, I honestly was just kind of <laughs> paying attention to other things, so like I don't really have too much to say on that aspect. Overall, I just think this movie could have been done better or differently. Um, I do understand it's from Liz's perspective, so there's some talk about that and how that's why he is portrayed a certain way. Again, I would love to know your thoughts on this movie. Let me know down below because I would love to hear your thoughts. I personally didn't like it, didn't think it was great. Um, I thought Lily Collins as an actress, I love her as an actress, so like I think she did a good job in her role, but at the same time I'm like, it's, sh I just feel like for all the people that are watching it right now and like thinking that he's innocent or they feel bad for him and it's like we should be feeling bad for the victims and they should have had been should have been recognized more in the film which I'm glad they were mentioned at the end anyways I can ramble on for a long time about this movie but I want to know your guys general thoughts as well I personally didn't like it I gave it like one star I thought it was slow moving I thought it was kind of boring and they missed a lot of the important aspects of the Ted Bundy case and they should have shown specific details from the crime scene to actually help viewers connect charming Zac Efron with murder serial killer dude because Ted Bundy's a serial killer who did horrible things please acknowledge that in the film because I don't feel like I feel like it was brushed over buttered over stuff like that anyways uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. No disrespect to people who enjoyed this film. I just want to know your thoughts. You can subscribe to this channel if you feel like it. I do all kinds of videos here, mostly book stuff, but also some film stuff. So I'll link all that stuff down below and you can subscribe down below if you want. Um, I also have my Instagram, Twitter, Goodreads, Tumblr, all that jazz linked down below. Um, and I also have my letterbox link down below where I talk about movies. So I'll link that down below as well. Um, I have a Patreon page if you want to support me on there. So I'll have that linked. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you super soon. Bye.